Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is CJ here at Nine Finger Gaming. Now you may be wondering to yourself where I've been for a while. Uh, unfortunately, due to circumstances, I was unable to create any more videos. And now I'm back and starting again. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be playing Hydroneer. I have played this game during the time I haven't been recording. Only bits and bobs, but it has just had a recent update. Uh, just before we get to start, I did just notice that you can actually adjust your character. Uh, it's something new I've never seen in the game before. Whether I've just not noticed it, that is the question. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to get straight into a new game. Um, I don't know, let's call it anything. And new game, here we go. Right, I don't know if many of you have played Hydrony, you may have seen some videos, but the easiest way to start out in this game is first you grab yourself your shovel. Let's bring that over here. And you've got your bucket and you've got your brush. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is pick up the bucket and drop that into there. Take your shovel. Get a quick scoop of that, place that into there, and give it a little brush. And what that will give you is resources. Now, there are three different resources uh, gold, iron, and plutium. There's also some gems that you can get that you can refine, and also some glowing, mysterious crystals which have their uses. Uh, what this game is, is a gold mining game, uh, it, it, the new update it does have some automation and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to play through and see if we can have a look at everything that's new in the game. Uh, first things first though, let's just give everyone a quick look around, I know some of you will be familiar with the game. Uh, this is our vehicle, uh, we do have a little cart over there but it, the, the, the cart that you get is pretty slow um, still feasible to work around but it is relatively slow to drag around uh, we will use this a bit just in this local area but there are other cars that you can buy I'm just going to leave that there for now right so this is one of the new shops and these are some of the new items these are second hand so you only can buy one of these from here there is somewhere further in the game that I believe you can now craft these. So it does have crafting in the game now, which previously it didn't. Uh, you've got your first shop over here, which is where we can buy simple things like a bed, uh, some concrete flooring, your lamps, mining helmet, your first lot of pipes, which we will be working to buy here shortly, and other equipment, even tool racks. Uh, there is fishing now implemented in the game, which it's a good way to pass the time once you've got your automation going. And then you've also got your anvils, furnaces, and crucibles, where you can start smelting down your materials into bars to craft other items. Uh, so there is other shops deeper in to the, uh, to the village, which we will go over there at some point but maybe not today depends how far we're gonna get so first things first we better get get materials now the easiest way to do this is you can just leave it there and get some more water just like that up get yourself some more of the shovel and brush away and you can just repeat this process. You haven't quite put it in that exact order. You can put the dirt in first. Then get your buckets. Drop that in there. And, okay. and to sell these items, I will quickly show you. We take them up to here. on the table and hit the button and we got 128 coins for that which we can take it down and drop it over into the shop for when we require to spend it. I'm not too sure, I will just 
check to just see how much the pipes are going to cost us. Uh, we may actually have enough to grab two that we need. Uh, there's nothing like starting automation as early as possible. Uh, so for the first start of automation, you want to automate your water. So we'll take one of these and probably two of those so we can get it to where we'd like. It's going to cost us 80, we'll leave this with 48. Right, so let's take this over. You know what? We will use. Huh? I don't think that actually stayed in. It might have done. We may have been quick enough, it may have just dropped out the side. We'll check up again. Oh yeah, it did. It managed to stick. What's? Nope. I do not want to do it. Try again. Huh? There we go. Get these in, and then we'll get this way over there and get these pointed down. Yeah, the easiest automation is mainly the water in your bucket which will then just allow you to keep shoveling in the dirt and constantly brushing and getting those materials. Uh, we're going to set it up over here as it's the closest point to the water and uh, make it a bit easier for us. Uh, now they do have a grid system in here now and obviously we can rotate those items as well. Uh, I believe this is also a new function for all the game. Now uh, as you can see that is dropping water out there. If we extend this over the reach of the water and now what we should be able to do is we get our bucket a pan I do apologize this is actually a pan and if we place this just under there oh you can see dead top water we're going to prefer it to be we find the right spot the sweet spot here so that's 320 432 that's going to be 752 and then i believe if you carry on down here to the fishing village you will find yourself filters which will need for the pipe work it is it does require filters to stop the water from damaging the machines uh, so you get your filters over here uh, which you can apply four to one set of pipe, I'll we'll show you that once we've got the items. Uh, you've got a few repair things over here, you saw the saw it off your metal bars, a magnifying glass to display the damage of items, and also there you've got the other fishing gear over here. Uh, we may <coughs> get a bit of fishing gear today, it depends on what we get. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut away while I get some funds together, and I'll bring you back as soon as we're ready. Right, so we've just saved probably a little over 2,000 and uh, we're now going to go and start to get some of the automation process. Uh, while I was away, I did craft another bed. It craft. did buy a bed just so I can sleep through the night. As you can see, I've been 
digging out quite a bit there. Uh, I've put another bucket as well because you will get quite a lot of these crystals and it's just somewhere I can just drop those. Right, so I've just been dropping the last just to get their last bit of money together. And you can combine stacks by simply dropping them on one another. It can be a little heavier sometimes. Uh, that one doesn't even want to join at all. Let's uh, try with the other pile. There we go. Right, so yeah, we've just got 2,000 there. I think we may have some coins in there. I'm not too sure if I did grab them. Right, let's just drop that in there. Double check in here. Uh, yeah, it's only 12, so that can stay in there. Right, so we're going to want this, and we're also going to want the forged iron drill. Uh, so that's the, what's this called again? The harvester and the drill. That leaves us with 1300. Right, let's go drop these off over there and then we can have the head into town to grab a couple more things. You can simplify this automation a bit more simpler than what I'm going to be doing, uh, but uh, I would like to get a couple of belts in to separate these two so I can also dig some more of the area out and put the dirt straight onto the belt, which you can do with the shovel. Let's grab the rest of his money and head into the town. And then we'll come back and get everything else that we need. Now, from what I've heard as well, I believe the driving has been altered on the vehicles. Uh, they do respond a bit more now. It can be easy to easily lose control because uh, they do steer a bit more sharper than they used to. Let's just get gently across here and head down this way into the main town which is over on this far side behind this hill to my right. Yeah, you have a few cell points as you go around as well. Uh, I can't quite remember this, what this one takes. So let me just double check. Uh, this one takes bars, but as you can see, the demand is low at the moment, so I wouldn't go selling them there. Uh, we'd have to do a check, really, to see if you still make more than selling up at that top point. Uh, but some will be in demand. There is a fish one up by the fishing village, and this is the main shopping village, so you can buy some new vehicles. Uh, you got a scrapyard for any items that you're no longer using. There's a new area up there which I believe is electrical items. And then you've got a few other shops in here. So we've got um, faux bricks, fancy furniture. And this is where you can get all decorative items for building a house. Even a better bed. Safes, female bars, podiums, pedestals, podiums, plinths displaying some of your items. You've got a shop here just to the right, just after the scrapyard. And this is where you can get all your conveyors from and all the gadgets for go on top of your conveyors, like the gem polishing hook or the dirt shredder. Uh, that is a tier one. There is a tier two there at the back, which breaks down large clumps of dirt into smaller clumps. And you've also got the centralizing hook for centralizing things on the conveyors. This, I believe, is a new item, a splitter conveyor. Uh, you place the item you want it to split on here, and as the items come along here, if it picks up that item, it will send it down this way, which hopefully we can get there today. I think we will. We're gonna push to get a conveyor system and a sorting system in today, uh, but for now, we just need to get the basics. Uh, this is a shop right next door. Uh, it sells a few other things. Rank 1 poles, rank tier 2 weapons, and we've also got hand sorted that you can buy at the one by where we started. We've got a rake here which is used to flatten terrain. We've got funnels which we will require four of these later today, but not right now. We've got a logic compressor which compresses cut gemstones uh, into their larger formats. We've got the crucible over here, which as you see we can buy over in the far end, but we do have the smelter over here, which automatically smelts ores that are dropped into it, as opposed to using the crucible and a furnace. Uh, so we will want to get to this at some point, whether that's today, I'm not too sure. 
uh, you've got the higher pressure pipes over here as well and you can also get some filters over here and pressure gauges which I don't believe are in the other zone. Uh, everything else though is acquired over in the other zone. Uh, you do have the scales over here as well which aid you in measuring out your bars should you require certain sizes. Right, so let's get what we came here for. Uh, not like my money. Get that dropped in there and what I will require is one of these and mm, I think I'll just go for this straight mm -hmm. now but we can adjust as we need it but they are going to be all I need it's 543 mm -hmm. let's get that dropped in there get that dropped in mm -hmm. also grab out the money because we don't require anything else from here just yet and let's get back right so here we are back at the home base let's get the vehicle unload this van we're just going to place these down here for now and let's work out where we're going to be placing some of these items uh, i'm going to be working from this far end so See that exits out to this side, and the water requires to go in the back. Uh, and I am going to work at this direction first. I'm going to place this here. We can move these around, so it's not going to be a problem should we decide we're going to move everything to another location. And then we're going to have two gaps into this one. will only connect to pipes, yeah it's red, we'll be placing the pipe and it connects in and this will drop the items into the top. And next we're going to need some other pipes, and I'm probably going to bring this one over here. As you can see I did have to take one of the pipes off, but we'll the ground is too many here, and we'll flat on this area. Drop the bucket, but we're going to be using that in just a second. And so let's go grab. As I mentioned, uh, we will need filters on these pipes, but first, straight off, there's no rush to get the filters. You can get the repair kits over there to keep the machines repaired. Just what you build up those initial funds to get the filters. So I know we're probably going to need a few more straights. And then 
do have a rotate function in this game, just three rotate buttons, one does each individual action, so you've got your X, Y, and Z. That's so we're gonna have to come around the back with the T junction on back there. Okay, but a few more pipes than needed, but that's no issue at all. Back to that U, I think we're gonna change out for that T. do then I'm gonna slip away the night just wait for it to come to daylight may even just knock up the gamuts a touch and I'll be with you again shortly You're right so daylight is coming in now uh, should be light enough let me see if the gamma will make any changes and I've got the gamma slightly turned up anyway let's get it up to three it's gonna be a bit bright when daylight comes in so I may have to change that out
there. And we're also going to place this just here in the floor. And we're also going to just dig off that top layer. guys shortly once we've got some funds and once we've dug out quite an area and we'll look to showing you how to get a sorting system up and running so i'll see you guys in just a sec right so getting back to it we should have enough money now but i'll just show you what i've been doing here so i've set up this line over here just taking it over into there the right in there Anyway, taking it off with that one, which conveys it into the visual screen. What we're doing is literally taking it and well, like, well, like, uh, filling up the belt. And this actually has been ringing in quite tidy little sums, uh, but has given where I want to see this system further automated. I'll probably still do this for a while. Um, it has got quite a lot of resources for us. This is adequate enough. I, I had about 2,700 with um, the materials in there.
We're going to get a gem polish in, uh, just because we can add that in, we have the funds. And then we need to go round to the other shop, and we're also going to need some of those funnels. Uh, we do need some more pans as well, I'll probably get those while we're here. And so let's drop that in there. We need five of these. Again, changing up this process so we can get everything sorted nice and neatly.
around. There we go, that's right. Right now. Come in. on the side. And these will catch the items and drop them down into buckets directly below. And the this will be placed onto a rail. We'll be on this rail. It will be on a conveyor that will be here on the end, which will then go to another funnel, the last one on the end, which will not have a place, there we go, which will then drop items into a bucket below. Uh, again, with these, I will be placing these in the floor underneath and digging out this small area of land above, uh, just to make it easier to place the buckets down all around, and I will also be filling in under here with them as so. Upside down. And these do have a right way up. I would like the flat face to be on the top. If you'd like me. There we go. That's the flat face up. Right, so they will be across there as well. All locked into place. I'll get it all set up and then I'll bring you back in and just show you how it works. Uh, before we go as well, I'll just explain how these filters work. So you'll come up to your filter. Oh, if it's going to let me jump up. Oh, there we go. And you'll place your item on the tray. And now that filter will filter out those items. Uh, so as the items come up the belt, they will filter across into that section. Filter down into there and drop into the buckets below. But I'm going to get all this set up. I'll bring you back in and I'll show you how it all works. And uh, that will then be the end of today's episode. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. Right, so here we are. This is the full setup. It's the tidiest I can get it for now. I'll have to get rid of this. Uh, I didn't run across getting another conveyor, just simply stole the one off the end here. As you can see, I have had some accidents underneath there as well. Uh, so let's get this thing fired up. Um, before I do fire up, just before we hold. I did also buy a filter to show you how these things work. So they can be placed on a planet in multiple directions, as you can see. Uh, all of it 
as a gnome. Now, the thing is, you can see that now, I'll take a look at it. I have got to go along and place all the items that need to be felt around here, so I need to go and episode I will have a tidy up and I will get this lent back out dig out some more of the area get some more of that money in for the next episode uh, but if you enjoyed today's video please do leave a like on the video and if you haven't already please do think of subscribing to my channel thank you very much and goodbye